Well, hey everybody, welcome to this episode of Arise Kids TV, where we are continuing our series, Heart to Heart. And today mm -hmm. is going to be very, what was that? There was hearts, it was like oh, a simple. Oh, that thing. thing. Cold. My thumbs are too fat, it's I like, told you last time. <laughs> no, no, it's good, because remember when we did We Tight, we did this? Oh, yes. This wow. Heart to Heart. That nice. feels like a long time ago we did We Tight. That does. It was really good. It, it was probably was actually this time last year. But today, yes. mm -hmm. we're going to have a whole bunch of fun. That's and right. Johnny, before we started today, you were talking to us all about a Oh fact. yeah, I've got a really cool heart pack for you. Ready? Okay, so it's not about the human heart. Oh, okay. All right, okay. I'm going deep <laughs> into the ocean. Oh, My okay. fact today is about the blue whale heart. Okay. Ah. Did you know that a blue whale's heart is the size of a mini Cooper car? Oh. A mini Cooper car? That's huge. That's humongous. But small in car size. It is a smaller big car. Big in heart size. Yeah. But imagine if our hearts were that big. Well, It'd be bigger than us, so well, it's not good. That's right, imagine if like our heart was that size and we just had little hands that came off the side of the... But think this, do you think, I, I haven't searched it up, but we've got five chambers in our heart. I wonder how much a Mini Cooper size heart would have. Oh, two, maybe they're just bigger. Do you well, know that's what, true, maybe they're also just bigger. I think about a Mini Cooper car, it can fit four people. Does that mean a heart can fit four people? Whoa. Hey, at the Papa, the museum here in Wellington, there used to be like a plastic That's science right. one. And you used to be able to walk through it. Yeah. You used to be able to crawl in it, and it was yeah. definitely gross. And it was definitely oh. a bit random that you walked through it. Really heart. cool, though. Cool, but a little bit gross. You know, like yeah. I'm inside the heart, it's a little yeah. bit strange. Do you know what's not strange? Stickies. That typical cool stuff that makes you wanna? Stick around. Yeah. yeah. Oh. It's almost time to worship. Jump to your feet. Not yet. Ha, ah, got you. Nelly and Ali are back with a brand new word of the week. We play another round of Stop, Drop and Pop. This time, Annalise goes up against Tanaka. And Nicole is bringing the word. All this and more, make sure you stay sticky. Well, that looks like it's gonna be an absolutely amazing day today. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know about you, I am excited for Nicole to be bringing the word oh. very soon. But before we go to the word, we are going to worship together. Awesome. So why don't you, it too, stand up. Why don't you lift your hands to heaven and let's believe that God is going to meet with us in this moment. Let's go. Sing with me, let this be a place. Let this be a place where you long to come As we make a way for your love Let these hands be clean and this heart be pure Blameless as the bride you're coming for Sing it's the power, cause it's the power
I'm Nellie Know-It-All, and I'm making my business to, well, know it all. And I'm Ellie, not Know-It-All, Nellie's twin sister, and well, I don't know it all. Oh, Ellie, you learned last week's word. Yeah, you're right, I did. Well, Ellie, I have another word of the week. Are you ready? Oh, man, okay. Today's word of the week is approach. A-P-P-R-O-A-C-H, approach. Whoa, that's a big word, approached. Um, Ellie, that's not the word of the week. Oh, I mean, a groach. <laughs> no, silly, not a groach. Oh, sorry, I mean, um, approach. About what? Approach, A-P-P-R-O-A-C-H. Approach. Oh, approach. What is that? Well, I'm glad you asked, Ellie. Approach means to come near to someone. Right, 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 right. I don't get it. Well, okay, imagine you are you. Yeah. And I am me. Yeah. And imagine you come closer to me, you drew close to me side by side. Yeah. Well, that would be you approaching me. And do you know what's crazy? Is we can approach God too. Wait, what? We can approach God? Isn't he so big and so far away? He is big, but he's not far away. He's right here. Where? Aw, uh -huh, Ellie, he's all around us. He's in everything we see, the Holy Spirit dwelling in us. He is close and he loves us so much that he, through Jesus made a way for us to approach Him and experience His love for ourselves. Wow, God is loving so I can approach Him? That's right, Ellie. God is loving so I can approach Him. How cool is that? <laughs> Whoa, that's crazy. So do you think that you could teach me how to spell approach? I sure can. A, A, P, P. You're getting it, Ellie. P, P. R. R. Kia ora tamariki. I am so excited to be bringing the word to you today. I hope you have your Bibles ready, your notebook, your pen, because I believe that God is going to be with us today, speaking to our hearts. I'm so excited. So why don't we pray to begin? Dear Lord Jesus, thank you so much that you are here with us right now. Lord, I pray that as I bring this word, that it would be you speaking through me, Lord God, that you would meet with every single one of us hearing this message today in the mighty name of Jesus. Everybody said, Amen, Amen. Has this ever happened to you? You've messed up. You've done something wrong. You've made a mistake and you know you need to tell your mum, your dad, your uncle, your auntie, maybe your teacher, maybe your coach, and you are freaking out. You have no idea how they're going to react. This has happened to me before. Flashback to when I was in school and we had a school uniform that you had to wear every day and you also had to have a uniform you wore for PE. And if I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I'm a bit of a forgetful person. And so there were many times where I forgot my PE gear. Now, this would have been okay if I wasn't super scared of my PE teacher. And it happened multiple times. And I remember on the days that I forgot my PE gear, I started to freak out. I was like, oh no, I have to tell my teacher what is gonna happen. Should I just run away and never come back? Should I just hide in the changing room the whole morning? No, that probably wouldn't work. So as I was walking to the gym to put on my PE gear, I was in the changing room trying to hide and I was like, okay, it's time to tell my teacher I didn't bring my PE gear. I walk out of the changing room, I see my teacher across the gym and I'm wanting to run. But I walk over to her, she's like, why aren't you in PE gear? I tell her I forgot. And if I'm honest with you, I got a bit of a telling off. She marked my name down as forgetting my PE gear. But actually, everything was okay. All I had to do was approach her and tell her what happened. Isn't it crazy? 
that sometimes things go wrong and we might be afraid to tell our teacher or our coach, our mums and our dads. But do you know what? Everything is usually okay. And isn't it crazy that when we mess up, when we sin, we're sometimes scared to tell God. We're like, oh no, God, he's going to reject me. He's not going to like what I did. Sometimes we just avoid telling God. But the truth is, our God is so loving. How much more would he care for us when we mess up, when we make a mistake? In the Bible, Jesus tells a story in the book of Luke chapter 15. Make sure you write that down so you can check it out later. But in this story, it's about a father and a son. And what happens is the son, he asks for his inheritance. He asks for all of this money so that he can go and live the life that he wants to. And he goes off. His father lovingly gives him all this money. And do you know what happens? He wastes all of the money and soon enough he needs to get a job and he's feeding these pigs and he's starving and he's like what do I do and he realizes that even at his father's house the servants get fed better and so he's nervous because he has sinned against his father he's done the wrong thing he has messed up but he needs food and he's thinking, I'll just go to my father's house and say, I'll be a servant. I'll do whatever you need. And so he makes his way home. And I can imagine he's thinking, what's my father going to do? Is he going to be okay? Is he going to help me? And do you know what happens? The father, he sees his son in the distance and he runs towards him and he embraces him full of love and full of forgiveness. And the son, he says, oh, my father, I've sinned against you. I'm so sorry. Please hire me as a servant. But the father, he said, you are my son. Let us celebrate that you have come home. Man, what a beautiful story where the father, he was full of love and forgiveness. And that's how Jesus, that's how our God sees us. When we mess up, when we sin, he sees us full of love, full of forgiveness. God is loving so I can approach him. You see, sometimes we think that because we mess up, because we're human, that God has rejected us, moved away from us, that he ignores us. But that's actually not true. I need you for a moment to imagine that Harry represents God. And because when we came into a relationship with Jesus, he made us clean, he made us holy. Nothing we could do could separate us from God. But sometimes we mess up. Sometimes we think that all the things that we do wrong get between us and God. Sometimes we say things that aren't true. We tell lies. And we think that gets between us and God. Sometimes we're unkind to others. We say hurtful things. We're mean. And we think that gets between us and God. Sometimes we do things that the Bible says not to do. We sin. And we think that gets between us and God. Sometimes we're just not listening to God. Sometimes we're not open to what he has to say in our lives. We're closed. And we think that all these things get between us and God and suddenly we're separated from God. There's a big gap between us. But that's not true because God is looking at us. He doesn't care about all of these things. He cares that we would approach him that we would tell him that we messed up, that we're sorry. And do you know what? He's there, full of forgiveness, full of love for you and me. All we need to do is ignore all of this, go to him with what we did. And he is there, full of love for us. Our God is loving, so we can approach him. So how do we approach God? There are so many ways that we can talk to God. We can pray we can read our Bibles, 
we can just close our eyes and spend time in worship, thinking of Jesus, focusing on him. These are just some ways that we can approach God. We can go to church, be in his house where his presence dwells. We can put on praise and worship and leap and sing. We can simply rest in his presence. Man, our God loves us so much, so we can approach Him. I'd love to pray with you right now for you just to have a moment with the Holy Spirit, you and God, where you can just be in His presence, where you can just know His fullness of love that He has for you. Why don't we pray right now? Why don't you lift your arms ready to receive from Jesus? And let's believe that he's going to meet us right where we are right now. Dear Jesus, thank you so much that you are here right now, that we can come to you whenever, with whatever. Lord, we thank you that no matter what we've done, no matter what we've said, that you love us and that you run to us with an embrace full of love, full of forgiveness, full of kindness. Lord God, we come to you right now and ask you to meet us where we are. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Oh man, it feels so good to be in the presence of God. But I just want to pray for one more group of people. And that's if you have not asked Jesus to come into your life, to be your best friend. Man, he loves you so much. And he's just waiting for you to approach him, to give your life to him. What's going to happen is I'm going to count to three and you can give me a little wave if you want to pray this prayer with me. Then we're all going to say a prayer together, shout amen and celebrate. So if that's you and you'd like to pray this prayer with me, why don't you give me a wave? Awesome. So many of you. That's amazing. Well, come on Arise kids, why don't we pray this prayer together? Dear Jesus, Thank you so much for loving me and for giving me life. I'm sorry for the things I've done wrong. Please forgive me and take away the sin that blocks me from you. I believe in you. Be my Lord, be my best friend, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Wow, what an amazing decision you have just made to follow Jesus. But let's not forget, people, that God is loving so we can approach Him. See you next time. Well, what an amazing message from Nicole. God is loving so we can approach Him. That is right. Good job. Uh, you know, uh, nah, I lost it. I'm sorry. Carry on. No, no, go again with the drums. <laughs> I was kind of like, do like a celebration kind of jumpy because I got it right, but it didn't really work out that well for me. You know what will work out well for you is a relationship with oh, Jesus. And if you just way. said yes to Jesus, we are so excited for you. Yep. And we've got three simple things that you can do to help you in your relationship Ooh. with Jesus. Number one is to tell someone. Yes. Now, if you just made that decision, I want to encourage you to tell somebody that you trust that you made that decision. It could be a parent, it could be a sibling or a leader. Yep. I just want to encourage you to tell someone because it's the greatest decision you could make. Yeah. And it's better to do it together than totally. on your own. So good. And the second one is this. We want you to read your Bible. Yes. Now you can get a paper version Bible, like the action Bible right there. Harry, one of those Ta da! Wow. wow. Really cool. One of my favorite ones, actually. Or you can let your parents help get them to download the U version Bible app. Yes. And you can read that too, which is awesome. Yes, you can. And the third thing is to pray. Mm. Prayer is one of the most awesome things that we get to do with God. Yeah. It's having a conversation with Him, just talking to Him. You can start by saying, Dear Jesus, Thank you for loving me. Thank you for being here today with me. You can, it's just a conversation. It's it really is. easy. Yep. And God loves it when we pray. So why don't you start to pray today? It'll be fantastic. But right now, Harry. Right now, Johnny. We are going to a game. It is stop, drop, and pop. There's going to be a lot of popping. So you better get ready, people. Here we here go. Here we go. Welcome to this week of the game. Stop, drop, and pop, people. Woo, it's going to be so fun. Last week, Harry and Johnny did pretty well, but let's check out what Megan Turbo has to say about how we play this game. 
Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. My name is Mac, one half of your commentary duo in week number two of our balloon race relay. Joining me today, my better half, Turbo. Yep, we're going to get this good. I'll get it soon, Mac. Gonna, it just, I was waiting for it. Really anticipation. Need it. But, Mac, I'm very excited for today yes. as we get to the second leg of the uh, balloon popping 100 relay race. That's a new name we're going to be using today, oh. the balloon popping 100 relay race. And it's going to be really good. I'm so glad we wrote a script for this part. Here's how the race works if you're joining us for the first time. Both competitors, Tanaka and Annalise, are going to be popping balloons. There are some stompy balloons, some grabby balloons, and, of course, the big balloon. The big balloon. That was my new I voice, Mac. Did you like it? Wow. I didn't know you could go that deep. Well, I didn't know even until I did it. Well, here we go. Back to you, Annalise and Tanaka at the start line. Here we go. <laughs> Now make sure you guys choose a team. Now I'm team white today. I am team blue balloon. Yes, yeah, so gonna be can, awesome. You can choose who you're going for. I mean, Whoa. I feel like you know I've got a pretty good shot. Yeah. I think you probably do. Yeah. You did win last time, team white. But maybe today is the day that team blue brings it back. Should we get ready? Yeah, let's, let's go. do this. All right, ready? In three, two, one, go! And they're off. off. Here, Here we go. Tanaka Whoa. popping white and Annalise popping blue. Now there seems to be a balloon that's left. Oh, the balloon's left behind. Annalise oh, is no. really struggling. There's one balloon, isn't she? Turbo, oh. this is a catastrophe. Where is she going? Balloons have not stayed stuck to the ground. This is going to be exceptionally hard here. Both competitors struggling to pop their balloons. My real question is why isn't she using her hands? Oh, this is a bad idea. It's going to hurt Oh, Ooh. that could be an ambulance yeah. trip. No, she's, looking, she's still running. She's now got the lead. Annalise, obviously, mm. in the blue balloon. Tanaka looks like she's lagging behind. Oh, cameraman. There no. he is. Caleb, the cameraman. Tanaka oh, now Tanaka catching back up. with the fierce hands of doom. Now, this is behind the scenes in the Arise Kids TV storage space. And both competitors come through. Oh, no, they're still oh, behind. They're still there, Struggling there, to get through. And now, finally, they come through into the zigzag crisscross hopscotch straight. Wow. That is a great name, man. And Tanaka, she is just popping balloons left, right, and center right now. And Annalise, she's struggling a little bit, Mac. I'm not quite sure if her technique, te technique, technique. You know what the word is, Turbo? <laughs> is actually on form right now. Nice. Both now going for the uh, crawl under the tunnel uh, part of our course here. Mm -hmm. We are naming this as we go. Annalise and Tanaka now both popping. Tanaka well in the lead she right now, Turbo. She is well in the lead, and I think she's forgot that. Oh, she's left the balloon behind. Oh, she had no, to go she underneath. The chair. Oh. She had to go underneath. That is going to cost her some seconds. It looks like she's made it back up. She's made it back up, but she is still behind him, Mac, which could lead to a deficit of 0.25 seconds. That's right. Both competitors now, Turbo, coming up to the Tunnel of Darkness. And they look like they're going to enter at the same time here, both going underneath. And they're gone. Yes, they look extremely exhausted. I would not be surprised, Mac, if they had a nap. Honestly, it's a long part of the course here, the dark mm -hmm. tunnel. And of course, as tradition, we're gonna sing a song while we wait. Your turn to sing a song. Oh, no, we're not no, gonna sing a song. Really. Wow. She went oh. fast, my good. There was no nap there. They were a lot faster than last week with that's Harry right. and Johnny, that's for sure. That's, she, Annalise is really struggling to hold these balloons in the same place. So let's get it away from her, but she is making some good ground luck. Like, look at that. Here we go now to the favorite part, the big balloons in the squares. Competitors must throw from inside the square. Here they go now, and oh, wow. both miss. It's a real disappointment when the balloon does not get popped. No, and oh, oh and a little bit be millimeters away. Fantastic. To our viewers at home, make sure you pick your team. It is now down to the final toss, and both players struggling big time here. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, 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 how did that miss? So close. Well, that that <laughs> one missed quite easily. That was shocking. That was horrible. Harry there. Harry's having a good laugh right now. Summarizes how we feel. Nicole there, though, uh, being very encouraging. Wow, Annalise What's getting that? aggressive now. Yeah. I'm oh, oh, there we go. Out of nowhere, Blue Balloon the team. aggressive stance. Annalise, it. thank you so much for joining us. We'll see you next time. Over to you, Annalise and Tanaka. Well done, Team Blue. If you picked me, uh -huh. can't wait to see how the time trials are going to go next time. Time for fact 
or fiction, the part of the show where we give you a statement and you have to figure out is it fact or is it fiction. And today, Juddy has got her fact or fiction. Tell us. That's right. I have the statement. Now you have to guess if this is fact or fiction. Here we go. Are you ready? <clears throat> yes. Goes like this. There are more stars in space than grains of sand on every beach in the world. There are more stars in space than there are grains of sand on every beach in the world. Now, that's a little bit difficult because the person who came up with this statement has obviously counted both. Okay. Or the grains. How? How? (laughs) Because I've dug pretty deep in the sand. Honestly, I've I feel like the, is the Earth, the Earth must be made of just dirt in the middle. Like I think the so. The I think there are several layers of just different dirt. Different types of sand. Sand dirt. What's the difference between sand and dirt? One's wetter. Like dirt. When you go, <laughs> when you go deep and when you go deep in the beach. No, this is actually true. This is a fact in my dictionary <laughs> of facts. Is that when you go to the Harry, listen, I'm making things serious. When you go to the beach and you dig a hole, <laughs> there's more water. And that's where it turns into dirt. No. <laughs> yes, that's right. Whatever. Oh, so wait, right. so if it rains on a beach, does the sand turn to dirt? Yeah, because it's wet. <laughs> wait. <laughs> Do you know what I think about? Thinking about this fact or fiction statement, I reckon God just picked up I'm actually, I'm not going to continue. What do you want? Okay, uh, so I'm not sure where you're going, but here's what I've learned so far. Sand is sand until it's wet and then it's dirt. <laughs> yes. And I've also been trying to figure out. So, okay, so you're right. Someone must have sat down and counted. Counted the, the grains of sand. To know. Or they counted the stars. Wait. Yeah, or they counted. But here's the thing. Like, there's so much stars. Like, Oh, so much stars. So much stars. <laughs> Space is huge. Space is huge. Who've been there? <laughs> Dang it. You got me. You got me. You got me. Wet sand. <laughs> hey, there's actually there's different types. Like I said you know, sand, dirt. You got soil. Soil's <laughs> different. Soil. Soil's a different type of gravy here. Okay, you got three levels of dirt. I mean, sand. Tell me I'm the three levels. Go tell me the three. Tell me the three. No, soils. What? Soil produces nah, I'm fruit. Listening. Okay, I'm gonna write it down. Go oh, tell me the I three. Think. The three layers. Go. Yep. Layer one. Sand. Yep. Gets wet, turns into dirt. Yep. <laughs> and then, if you want to grow a tree, you use soil, <laughs> <laughs> which is actually different. It's darker. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually true. Isn't that true? Oh, anyways. Okay, would you like to know if this is a fact or no, fiction? I want, okay, wait, I'm gonna. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, not that laugh. I'm actually crying. You know, you're done when it's that laugh. Okay, okay, okay. Is it fact or fiction? I don't even know what we're talking about anymore. What is it? Okay. Tell us it again, just for those of us who have actually forgotten what we're talking about. Okay, so the statement was there are more stars in space than grains of sand on every beach in the world. Yep. Okay. okay. Now, we've actually got a text in from someone oh, that's saying, we? yeah, question from fact or fiction. Yep. Alexis is saying space as it goes to infinity. That's what I was saying. There's heaps space. Oh, were you saying that? Because I don't remember you hearing you No, there's heaps that. stars. Remember I said oh, that? Heaps stars. Then, then we there's talking. heaps stars. There's heaps stars. Okay, Anyways, I'm going to lock answer. in. Here we go. Fact or fiction? I'm going to say it's a fact. And I'm gonna say, you're right. Yes! <laughs> Congratulations if you got that right as well. Well done. Oh, so also, <laughs> no. Every day's a learning day. Three types of soil, people. Three types of sand. There's sand, then there's dirt, which gets wet, which is wet sand, and then there's also soil, which soil. is the dark sand. Well, hey kids, it's time to learn our heart-to-heart memory verse. So no matter where you are, how about you stand to your feet and let's do it together. You ready? Let's go. God decided in advance to adopt us into His own family by bringing us to Himself through Jesus Christ. This is what He wanted to do and it gave Him great pleasure. That's Ephesians chapter 1 verse 5. 
That was awesome. Now we're gonna do that one more time. You ready? God decided in advance to adopt us into His own family by bringing us to Himself through Jesus Christ. This is what He wanted to do. And it gave Him great pleasure. That's Ephesians chapter one, verse five. That was awesome guys. Now since it's our Heart to Heart series, show me your hearts. Let's go. So cool, see you guys later, bye. Man, what an awesome day we've had so far, Good guys. Day. I don't know about you, but this has been one of my favourite days of all good days. Good day. Wow. Yeah, it's, I've just had a great time. I've just had and a good you've day. you've been married. <laughs> yeah. And like, I'd say you had a kid, you don't have a kid yet. I don't, I don't no. have kids yet. This doesn't quite beat my wedding day. Okay. But it's a close fourth or eighth. Uh, <laughs> you know what was really good today? What was really good today was your message, Nicole. Yeah, thank snap you. to Nicole. Snap to Nicole. It's not, we don't Ooh, normally snap, but I think you deserve. You before the best bits. That's I know, crazy. that's like extra that snaps. Uh, I think so. Wow. The reason oh, why no. I thought Nicole deserves snaps today is because the message was so good. Yeah. It was so great. Understanding that we can just boldly approach God, that mm. we don't have to stumble over things that's that right. aren't in the way. We can just approach Him because He loves us so mm -hmm. much. That's I love right. that. I think it's time for <gasps> shout out. That is right. This is the part of the show where we give someone a very special shout out for sending us a photo of them watching Arise Kids TV. And these two people, first of all, started watching in Dubai. That's not here in New Zealand. That's in another place. But they moved back to New Zealand. Now live in Rangiora. It is Abigail and Jesse. Yes, look at them. Look at them. Yep, that's them. Congratulations, guys. You get a shout out and a bonus box. It's on the way to you. Now, if you'd like a shout out and a bonus box, all you have to do is send us a photo of you watching Arise Kids TV to kids at arisechurch.com and we will send you a bonus box and you can be joining us right here on Arise Kids TV. That's right, we would love to hear from you. So make sure you send us that photo or if you just want to say hi or have something you want us to pray for, send yeah, that email to nice. kids at arisechurch.com. So good. And you guys know, well you guys know, but did you guys know <laughs> that we've got so many other episodes mm -hmm. that you guys can go and see. Yes. Maybe you've only been watching a few episodes of Rise Kids TV. Well, let me tell you, there's some really good ones that we've done from a while back and you can check them out at arisechurch.com forward slash kids mm -hmm. on our YouTube channel. Make sure you like and subscribe so you can see all the videos. That's right. And next time we are going to have an awesome mm -hmm. episode. It is all about how God is generous. Ooh. So we can go and ask. I don't know what it's going to entail, but it's going to be a lot of fun. Mm. Okay, okay. Well, I'm excited about that. <laughs> is it going to have a tail? Oh, she said it's going to have a in tail. tail. Look at this. We've got hearts, heart to heart, and, and tails. <laughs> so very good. Hey, make sure you come back next time, or if you'd like to, come and hang out with us in person. Ooh. We've got Arise Kids all across the country. All you have to do is head to our website, arisechurch.com forward slash locations, to find out if there's an Arise Kids near you. We'd love to see you. Come hang. Mm. Otherwise, join us back here next time. Until then, though, bye bye. Kakite. See ya. Now I'm overthinking. Of <laughs> course. <laughs> Three, two, <laughs> and okay. go. Ready? Three, two. Well, that looks like an absolute. No, no, it doesn't look like it was a great message. Sorry, here we go. Three. Please look, look. <laughs> I've already lost it. <laughs>